So here we go. This is part two of the getting started on offshore kayaking on a budget video. And um, this is the same kayak you guys just saw me presenting to you. The whole layout. This is it. Ready. Moments away from her first true offshore trip. We're going out past the first ledge. And we got a bucket full of bait. We've got the rods and everything is tethered on. The GoPro is set. Ore is ready to go. Flag is ready to fly. Just got to get this thing wet. Another important piece of gear to have are quality gloves. Because when you're paddling, your hands take a real beating. A crucial thing to remember while kayak fishing or just kayaking in general is always keep your head within the boundaries of the kayak. Meaning don't hang your head over the border of the kayak trying to see what's underneath you. That's a good way to fall in the water. The body is going to follow the head. Keep it within the walls of the kayak and you will be alright. What I like to do is when I know that I have a shark on the line, I typically will just lock down my drag or cut my spool and just start applying a lot of pressure and just give my gear a test. I'm checking for any failure in my connections, my knots, any phrase in the line, anything that would give out if this was a quality game fish. I don't mind losing a shark. I definitely don't want to lose a king or a mahi or any other kind of game fish. Yeah, I was disappointed that this turned out to only be a little dusky shark. And yes, they're dangerous. They're a pain in the butt when you're fishing. But there is also just something really satisfying to me about watching these guys swim around and just to watch the way they move. I mean, these are, this is one of the top apex predators of this planet. And it's just incredible to just watch them in their habitat. I was getting a little irritated that such a little shark was taking so much energy to get out of the water, but you'll see in a second how he was foul hooked right underneath the pectoral fin. So I was dragging him around, you know, perpendicular to the water line, which it's a lot harder than to bring him head up. Here I commit a rookie mistake that could have ended badly. I wrap my hand around the line and try to gain control of this shark. But you know what could happen is a bigger shark can come and grab this fish in an instant. And if I'm wrapped up, he's probably either going to give me deep lacerations or take me in with him. Never ever wrap your hand around the line of a fish that's still in the water. Try to just, if you're going to board him, wrap him and sling him very quick. Now, it does go to say, the more you can fish depends on how in shape you are. Paddling is definitely strenuous. Yeah, unless you're targeting some great trigger fish, they're, they're not your friends. They will destroy your baits. Once these show up, get out of the area. Oh, 
what kind of get sharked. <laughs> This fish was swimming in circles, made me think it was a bonita. Turns out he had two sharks chasing him around and he was just running for his life. Always try to kayak with a partner. Nigga, a lot of things can go back, wrong. Always try to go in a high vis colored kayak, wear brightly colored clothing, fly a flag nice and high with a good bright color. You want maximum visibility so that boats can see you a little bit easier. Being cheap and trying to save battery on my GoPro, I didn't get to record a smoking run this fish gave. It turned out to be a nice little kingfish. Yeah, as I tried popping my rubber band off my sinker, my line went slack. I should have lost this fish. My heart dropped. He was hooked decent enough where he didn't shake it. But you'll see how loose this hook was when I land him. Tension is key in any fish fight. Not much more stuff is going to get your heart pumping when you're at the end of a fight and you're trying to stick your catch. It's so awesome. Couple King tips fish, to baby. gaff fish. You always want to gaff as close to the head as possible. You know, sometimes the fish is a little quicker than you want them to be. Always aim for the head. One gaff in the head, hand on the tail, be in control. Yeah, this is a pretty small king. It's definitely no smoker king by any means. But believe me, those teeth are to be feared. When you land a toothy critter like a barracuda or a kingfish and you're going to put them in your kayak, you're in a very confined space. Make it number one priority. Keep those teeth away from you. You don't want that near your toes, your feet, your ankles, your arms. And you definitely don't want them to go up between your thighs. Those teeth are designed to cut. You gotta always keep control of that head. I sharpen that shit out of it. Prison people. Oh, you got a prison people, right?